Hi, this is Shadi. Often the guard gets a very bad reputation because of sports context, but we need to understand that the guard is a very vital element in your self-defense arsenal. In the old days, the masters have used it differently uh, before competition was very popular, but today we're going to look at how they did it um, from their books and also their footage. So we need to understand that the guard is called a guard means like a shield. So when things go very bad for you, that's when your guard is very efficacious because your legs are the strongest limbs in your body and it should not be used as your main strategy. So I'm sure you remember this photo that I've shared in the past. This is from the game of Jiu Jitsu 1906. It says the man thrown must spin round uh, into this position meaning you should always recover and keep yourself safe keeping your legs in the way so they don't get to your head or anywhere else that is vital so let's take a look at yukio tani the author of the book and here you see he was thrown with hanegoshi so we see here he is being thrown and then notice how the hips turn immediately with the legs and then you have them, one is bent and one is on the hips. And then from there, he proceeds to do a tomoe nage or what is called today a balloon sweep. So he can gain back an advantageous position and end the fight. Here is Taro Miyake, I believe from the 1930s and recovers guard and immediately with his legs in the way, he proceeds to reverse or sweeps to the side in order to get into a better position. Having this guard after being in a very bad position was vital and it was used very frequently. Let's see Elio Gracie after being thrown against Kimura. He tries to do the same and after that blasting oh Sotogari look at Elio's legs immediately assumes the same position the open guard but Kimura just goes through it like knife against butter. But the principles and the fundamentals are there. So let's take a look here at Gracie. Tolls guard very much like competitive uh, jiu-jitsu today it gets picked up. Because there's no slamming or dakiage, um, he should not be doing this. But later on, notice how he assumes the same open guard position on the sleeves and the legs are in the way one on the hip and one is on the waist so defending from this position is a very old this is from the i believe 1910s the self-defense for women so when a woman is being aggressed she puts her legs in the way and pulls towards her so she can actually uh, reverse and actually possibly even knocks someone out after this page they even recommend how to do resuscitation techniques so she sweeps backwards with a tomoe nage and the aggressor is neutralized so this is very old let's take a look here at Hickson and how he is demonstrating it so he has his legs in the way notice how he lets go of his legs and puts them on the hips so he has the guard slam in mind uh, very similar to his brother Horion, um, he lets go immediately as the man stands up and then pulls towards him either the head or with the jacket and proceeds to extend his legs and removes his head to the side where he wants to throw and from there he uh, throws and gains an advantageous position. So you see in the past, the guard was dealt with very differently as we see it today. Uh, even before Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu became very popular, hikikomi or guard pulling was very rampant. If you look at the old Kosen Judo uh, magazines or school magazines, they say that there was just so much guard pulling that uh, Kodokan rules banned it. But in the Kosen rule set, it is still being allowed because they still go by the old rules or the old ways of fighting because back then remember the throw was not definitive of the fight like it is today in judo so 
the throw, just like we saw Yukiotani being thrown, I believe, in the 1920s. He just recovers guard and, and proceeds to uh, sweep. So in the past, it was either a knockout or a submission or a verbal surrender. So this is very reflective of old judo and at the same time, old ways of handling Neiwaza. So we need to understand that the guard is a shield. It is something to protect you, but at the same time, it can turn the tables if you are in a very bad spot. It is not, it should not be your primary attack or your primary strategy. I understand that when there is no slamming and the submission is key, pulling guard is the fastest way to get from point A to point B, but we should never, un we should never forget why these elements of grappling were put up in the first place. So if you have anything else to add, please let me know. This was Shadi. Thank you for listening.